Hello, welcome to my next video in my computer science series. Today, we will be using the knowledge that we have acquired so far to create a song. We're going to simulate the song 99 Bottles of Beer on the Wall. So, let's get started. First, please write the skeleton code and then we will proceed. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user for their age. Depending on their age, we're going to print beer or soda as part of the song. And we're going to store it in an integer variable. All right. Now, we're going to create a string for exactly like what drink we're going to play. And we're going to leave it blank for now because we're going to rename it later on in the program based on their age. So if their age is greater than or equal to 18, based on your drinking age, please write it, we're going to make drink equal to beer. Else, drink will equal soda. All right. So first, we're going to create a for loop. We need a for loop because we're going to print the numbers from 99 all the way down to zero. So let's get started. For int i is equal to zero. This will be our counter variable, the variable which we'll use to count the number of times the loop is going to run. So in this case, i has to be less than, or actually, i has to be greater than zero. I changed my line actually. i has to start with 100, with 99. Because it starts with 99 bottles of beer. Okay, so until i is greater than or equal to zero, and then we're gonna do i minus minus. We're gonna subtract i each time. i minus minus is a fancy way of saying we're gonna subtract one from the value of i. All right, so we're gonna print. And we're going to use concatenation, adding two data types together in one print statement. All right, we started with the first sentence. So Assume I is 99 and assume our drink is beer. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We've printed the first statement. Now we're going to create another print statement just for the sake of cohesion.
All right. We've got sort of our first paragraph. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 98, because we're doing I minus 1. Bottles of beer on the wall. And this for loop, it's going to keep running until I is less than 0. Once I is less than 0, then it's going to stop. And just so that you know that the song is ending, we're going to put a push statement outside of this for loop. bottles of soda on the wall, 99 bottles of soda, because I entered a number less than 8. Take one down, pass it around, 98 bottles of soda on the wall, 98 bottles of soda on the wall, and then keep going until there's no more bottles of soda left. And this is what happened. Here we have it. We finished the song. So this is how you simulate the song 99 Bottles of Beer on the Wall in a Java program. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends about this too. Thank you. Bye.